I mean, I, I was reading something from an old 60s underground magazine from Seattle called Helix, and in it, the reporter, he was at that particular point in time talking about this phenomena of what was happening with young people who were buying albums. I mean, albums at that point for the first time were, were being seen as an artistic statement rather than just a, a quick collection of tracks, which were, was what they were previously regarded as. And these people were going, sitting down in the room, really quietly, kind of putting the music on and absorbing it and mm. listening to it. And it was um, a whole experience. Um, and it just got me thinking of how much we've lost that in the modern age, that people just don't listen to music anymore in, in that respect, i.e. giving it the full attention that they might think they are, but you'll see that they're texting away or they're on the computer or, you know, or they're popping up and going out, you know, and that, you know, that you wouldn't do that in a cinema if you were watching a film. But because music's so much around people all the time, they hear it everywhere they go, it's just there now. That I think they've um, basically lost the ability in, in lots of respects to to understand um, you know, the process of what, what, what should be happening is that somebody's been in a studio and put down this music and hoping that somebody will sit away and listen to it. I mean, obviously people do that on headphones and stuff like that, but they generally do it um, to, to uh, pass the time. So maybe they've got a journey to make. Yeah. Let's put some headphones on, you know. So people aren't just like kind of saying, right, I'm just gonna sit down and listen to this album tonight and take it in and absorb it and enjoy it. And, um, and that's what we, you know, decided to do with Living to Music is select an album a month and say to people, you know, at nine o'clock on the first Sunday of the month, you know, we're just gonna sit and listen to it and if you wanna join in, do so. And if you wanna comment on the blog and give you impressions of it. And it all came out of that. And the title Living to Music was in that piece, that Helix piece. He said mm. that, you know, people, he, he described it as, you know, people are living to music, that they're, that they're putting more in store in that than, than they would in, you know, almost like kind of spiritual matters and stuff, you know. 